welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do stick around and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a trusty fave. It is, of course, a Primark haul. I have quite a few things to show you, and I'm going to say it. Even though it's not quite September, I'm going to say it's September. It is autumn, the jumpers are in, the coats are in, I'm seeing teddy coats coming back, puffer jackets. Literally, Primark is full of autumnal wear and I am so happy about it. It's one of my favourite seasons to shop. It's not freezing whereby you have to have so many layers on, but it's nice because you can wear a nice cosy jumper, feel warm and cosy whilst having the jumper on show. Don't necessarily need a coat yet. Favourite season to shop. I have actually picked up quite a bit of beauty in this haul. So Primark Beauty isn't something that I shop on the regular, but I picked up a few things and I'm actually going to be giving them away to you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can enter and be in with the chance of winning all the beauty items that I'm about to show you. But before I go on to the Primark Beauty, I wanted to firstly touch on something that I've mentioned in my vlogs before, and it is the Foreo Luna 3 this little beauty here. I've got the pink one which is for normal skin but they have a couple of other variants as well depending on your skin type. I'll leave a link to this below and with it being like an autumnal haul and focusing on the beauty and also it's the season for like pampering, beauty nights in, massages, all that kind of stuff like really luxurious self-love, self-care, self-love. <laughs> So the first thing that I like to do as soon as I get home from a long, hard, busy day shopping, especially when I'm shopping in somewhere like Primark, is put my hair on top of my head in somewhat of a messy bun. Then I take my Garnier Micellar Water to remove the main bulk of my makeup, especially focusing around the eye area, removing mascara and brow products. Then using my Elemis Cleansing Balm and my Foreo Luna 3, I just remove all my makeup, thoroughly cleansing my face, patting my skin dry, and then move on to massage. So moving on to the massage function, I like to treat myself every once in a while using the Foreo Serum and of course the app, which has a variety of different massage functions for you to choose from. Of course, depending on what sort of massage you're after, whether you want to contour, tone, tighten, or purely relax, select your treatment, follow the instructions on screen, and it guides you through the entire duration of the massage. This one in particular uses the back of the brush, which has ridges designed to help massage and tone and tighten and all that good stuff, which honestly feels so good and so relaxing. It's just that extra little pamper before winding down for bed. I really just wanted to show you the massage function before I dive into the Primark Beauty as well. Okay, so I'm going to start with the beauty bits which you can be in with a chance of winning at the end of this video. These are all the beauty items that I picked up. First of all, I'm going to start with the palette. This is a highlight and glow palette called Topaz and I just thought this was... ABH dupe. Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palettes are just renowned and this is honestly so similar. Along with this from the nudes range which is very KKW dupe inspired. There's a lot of dupes with Primark Beauty, I have noticed that. So this is a set of two makeup blenders and I thought it was so reasonable at just two pounds. So pick this up and again, that is gonna go to one of you guys. And the other thing that I picked up, this is more of a MAC dupe with the little packaging that it comes in. All their like tools and stuff there, curlers, their sharpeners, they all come in little packets like this. So MAC dupe here. This one is actually a brow kit, so it comes with a brow pencil and a brow gel. And then this they had a tester of, it was £3 in the shade Champagne. They had a tester of this, so I tried it out in the back of my hands and I love the Iconic London Illuminating Drops. And so I use them on a daily basis, like every single day, I absolutely love them, so I know what they're like. And this was so similar. You could use this all over your body, you can use it on your collarbones to highlight your shoulders, your cheekbones, your nose, everything. 
Or you can even, what I like to do sometimes with the Iconic London, put a couple of drops in, rub it in the palm of your hands, and just dab it all over your face as a primer, or even on its own if you're on holiday and got a bit of a glow already. And then lastly, Body Shop do a shade um, alterator product, which this reminded me of that. This is a shade adjusting drops in dark. So essentially what you do, I think this is great for a transitional period like it is now, whereby if you are like me and naturally quite pale, but you've maybe using tan, you've got the option to use your favorite foundation and just make it a little bit darker if maybe you're going on a night out and you've got some tan on. So they are all the bits that I'm gonna include in the giveaway at the end of this video, stay tuned for that. And now let's move on to homeware before fashion because I did get some homeware items as well. So the first homeware item I picked up is this candle. If you know me, you know that I am a lover of any candles. I just love burning them all year round, especially in these kind of seasons. So this one, I've had one like this before in a different scent. It was amber and something. And it was like in a brown jar. This one is black and it says wood smoke and tobacco. I love these kind of musky scents. This is only £2.50. The actual candle itself is black as well. I love black candles, I think they're so smart. So yeah, I absolutely love that. I'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee. If you haven't already, make sure you pause and go grab yourselves one too. The next thing that I picked up is this wooden frame pegboard. It was six pounds. I have a letterboard in our kitchen, which I have mounted on the wall. I'll insert a picture. I think I've got one on my Instagram home account. But this is gonna be for our drinks trolley. And I saw a picture on Pinterest and it just inspired me to get something similar and maybe especially in Halloween season, I'm gonna put on here, pick your poison on the drinks trolley. I just think that's quite cute. The next thing that I picked up are these. I have hauled this one before and I put it in our spare room and it does give off a really nice smell. And it says it lasts up to four weeks. It's probably been about four weeks now, so I probably need to change it up. They're only £1.50 each. And I also picked up Tranquility, which was green tea and bergamot. I don't really like the look of this, but it's kind of hidden anyway. You just take out the plastic wrapper and it smells so strong and you just hang it up. So I might even put this maybe in that wardrobe or my wardrobe and just have it hanging in this room. Um, but yeah, £1.50 for four weeks of a scent in your room. It does really work. The last homeware item I picked up is this gold waste paper basket. This is to go downstairs in our front room, which is kind of doubles as an office space. I need to change up the desk that we've got for a smaller one and slightly change around the room down there, but we don't have a bin for paper down there and obviously like an office space kind of need one. So I picked this up. I mean, it's not very practical because of all the gaps and the holes. I could put a little bag in here, but I kind of like the look of it just on its own. It was only five pounds, kind of beauty themed. I did pick up a couple of bits for myself. We needed a new loofah, so I got this shower puff for one pound. And then I also picked up these. These are like just godsend for me. I use these every day. What I like to do, like when I'm busy at home working or whatever, I'll tie my hair up into like a big top knot thing, spin it round and clip one of these in so it's not using a bobble because I think if you use bobble it damages your hair or it pulls it slightly so I use these all the time and they were only a pound for a pack of six they tend to break every so often or go missing I don't know how or where or why okay finally on to the fashion now yay I'm so excited to be shopping awesome fashion this is just my season I feel like it's just so cozy and love it. So the first item I picked up is this jumper, sweatshirt, ribbed uh, top essentially. This is a great transitional one because it is a little thinner. It's not a really thick knit, you know, it's gonna be a bit breathable and a bit more lightweight for a good transitional piece. A bit like today actually, it's kind of raining and miserable outside. A little bit cooler. Hey Google. What's the temperature today? You can expect a high of 16 and a low of 12. 
16 and low of 12 so yeah so this was eight pounds i got it in a medium just to be slightly more oversized and it is slightly shorter at the front and longer at the back so a great jumper to wear with just leggings and boots pretty much what i live in throughout the next several months okay this is a dress i feel like a nice transitional dress we might get the odd spot of sun who knows and if we do i picked up this now this is an autumnal rust kind of burnt orangey color i don't know how well that color of payoff is coming off on camera but i do like this color for this kind of season even though i don't wear colors so often i'm loving the midi midaxi kind of floaty loose dress however i have tried this one on already just for fit so i could talk to you guys and tell you what i think and unfortunately it is not the fit that i was expecting it to be i still love the dress but the way that i want it to fit me uh, i got a 10 but i feel like i need to size up to maybe a 16 like i want it big i want it just baggy loose floaty but it actually kind of like hugs me around my bum it's quite tight around my bum so it's not at all how i imagined it's still a pretty dress just a different fit on how i imagined it would be 18 pounds though it's kind of a little bit steep for primark i'm not gonna lie for a plain dress but these are so in they've been all over zara and h&m and shops like that so i feel like they're duping those kind of places these are what i live for in this kind of season Ooh, the cozy cuffed leg jogger pj style bottoms these were eight pounds i got them in a small which is a 10 to 12 they're in a gray marl so let me just show you the ribbing a bit closer up it's super soft fabric if you guys know and get these every year like i do you know how soft these are i mean i know they're only primer but honestly they feel like white company they feel like a really nice pair to have for indoors you know like cozy comfy days where we're just netflix and chilling so i picked up a couple of basics on this trip this one included this is just a plain vest top in a small at only two pound fifty i like just plain vests with jeans and then maybe the jumper on top like the jumper that i showed you earlier and then i also picked up this basic um this one was four pounds it is a little semi cropped i'm gonna say tee and it's quite a floaty loose fabric that's just gonna fall quite nicely if they have a black one i'm gonna get that as well but i didn't see any in our primark okay next up i got a pair of pants and they are these kind of like cargo style skinny fit trousers a little bit of um like a distressing at the bottom of the hem and also like along the legs and along the pocket over here i think it is yeah here so these are quite a skinny fit. They're not as high-waisted as I'd like them to be. That is the only issue with them. So I'm going to try them on again, style them how I'd style them with maybe just a basic white tee and try and make a decision. Because although I love the fit down the leg, even though I'm not used to a skinny fit, I'm usually like a straight leg kind of gal. But I do like that. But I just don't like the fact that they're not as high-waisted. £15 these were. I picked them up in a 10. And they're true to size slash a little bit small. So if you're in between, I'd size up. Next up is kind of a basic. Somewhat of a basic. It is a high-neck t-shirt in this ribbed uh, fabric. Which is really soft. And feels really good quality. It's only £6. I think that's pretty reasonable. Picked it up in a small so that it's quite fitted. Again, with just some jeans. These are the jeans that I pretty much live in. These are the vintage straight jeans from Primark at £13. I have a couple of other variations, but these ones are like a go-to with something like this. I'm going to just have a coffee break. Oh, I don't usually go for black, so it's quite strong so i got two more pairs of trousers and then a couple of pairs of shoes so i'll show you these ones first these are paper bag waist jeans in a 10 and these were 15 pounds i didn't try any of this on in store so getting home i tried them on and these fit they're nice and high waisted and i like the little rolled up cuff at the bottom they are nice um but i do think this style suits slightly more straight up and down kind of person they're not the perfect fit so i'm going to send them back however this next pair of trousers i am in love with these are the vintage mom jeans in a 10 i never thought i'd be able to wear a mom jean and like it 
however these I love I'm obsessed with these they're the perfect fit around my waist around my bum and legs they've got a little rolled up cuff as well at the bottom of the leg there they are 13 pounds so the same price as these vintage straight ones that I love okay ending on shoes now I have two pairs of shoes I have these trainers which you may recognize from a previous Primark haul I did have a pair of these I think they were ever so slightly different in design but they're pretty much the same thing. I trashed them, I needed to get rid of them, they didn't wash up, so I bought a new pair and I got these in the sale for five pounds. So the fact that I loved my other ones and wore them to death, essentially, I saw these that were in the sale from 12 down to five, and I just thought, you know what, for another pair, for five pounds, I'm gonna get my wear out of these again because I did live in the others. So they're just a chunky, plain cream trainer. Sometimes it's quite nice not to have loads of branding. They actually have loads of other designs as well, very Balenciaga inspired with different colors. I also recently did a Primark Airport Outfits Ideas video, which I'll leave linked because it was the same shopping trip. So I actually got a lot more on this trip, but I featured those items in another video already. So I didn't want to duplicate. The last pair of shoes I wanted to show you are these. I love these, the square toe, the midi heel, they're more than a kitten heel because I don't really like kitten heels these are like a midi heel I would say I mean that's quite a fair size kittens are usually like that which I don't really see the point in kitten heels but these midi ones are just a little bit higher these were 12 pounds and I love the strappy sandals at the minute I know they're very Zara Topshop all the high street stores have been doing them throughout summer and that sums up everything so I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know what some of your favorite picks were stay tuned for lots more autumn winter fashion and Primark hauls I want to get into doing a lot more because this is my favorite season to shop autumn fashion I wanted to wait until we were well into September before doing um, more kind of jumpers and oh my god I can't wait I'm so excited so yeah subscribe get the notification bell switched off when I upload and for now let's head on to the giveaway details I'm going to keep this super simple, it's open internationally, so wherever you are in the world, feel free to enter and all you need to do to win these are subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell and also go follow me over on my Instagram which is Freya Farrington one I do have a homeware account as well, Freya Farrington Home, if you'd like to follow me on that one as well and then all you need to do is comment below and if you can put your Instagram handle down below or an email address so that I can reach out to you if you are the chosen winner in I'm going to say a couple of weeks time, let's run this over two weeks so best of luck to everyone who enters as mentioned at the start of this video i will also leave a link to my foreo luna 3 this has been a godsend i've absolutely loved using this over the last i'm going to say a couple of months now and i'll hope to see you all in my next video bye guys favorite favorite season of all time and and i'm so happy to start off this and I'm so happy to start off with this. And this, and I wanted to show you, and I wanted to show you more in depth of how I use the. Um, in fact, let me start that again. The massage function on the app, on the app, I use the massage function, I select my prof. Alex. Anas Alex? Anastasia Beverly Hills, you can use this all over your body, your collar blowns, collar blowns. <laughs> so, I'm so pale. Does anyone else remember that ad? Just me. Oh, okay, so the first item I picked up, I got, let me start that again. What's the fun, you know? But you know, it's fun buying new things every year. And I only, ooh, I just ate the toggle thing. Okay, before I go on to the last pair of shoes, before I go on to the last pair of, in fact, okay. I also recently did a primal, I, I don't know. <laughs> I also recently did a primal, oh my God, I can't speak.